Now, in the year of the fire rooster, let's have a look at people that's born in the year of the red. All right, for this that is born in the year of the red, this year you are having very good auspicious stars. So generally, we have two very good stars here. Now we have the prosperous star of the moon. Uh, this is actually equivalent to also the stars of the sun. What this is trying to say here is you enjoy very good nobleman luck. That means you get a lot of mental help that is coming from. Uh, your workplace is coming from also other environments that you like to seek their help on. Now understand that the moon also denotes that the nobleman comes from the female environment. So it could be a female boss, it could be your female co-workers that is coming to your aid this year. Now of course the second sign that we actually look for for the stars is actually the sky happiness stars. This is one of the best stars to have especially if you are looking for a very good relationship in coming this year. Now for the singers this year, sky happiness also denotes that you will likely be having a very prospective partner coming along. So you probably would like to spend a bit more time socializing. Of course for those that's looking to get married, then this year for Sky Happiness, this is one of the key stars. Is this is the right year to actually get attached? Yeah. Okay. So of course, we as the year goes, generally we still have a couple of the negative stars that is not so doing so well. But in general, there's nothing of too much to worry about. Now the Sky Adversity is talking about that you will get a bit of misfortune uh, events that's happening, but nothing of too serious. So all you have to do just to make sure that you actually tread with care, uh, whether it's at work or whether you're driving, yeah? So now, of course, the Great Assembly stars is one of the stars that focus a lot more in terms of your well-being as well as your health. So this year, I would actually suggest you not to take up any dangerous activities such as mountain climbing, bungee jumping. So this is the uh, stars that actually can get you hurt if you're not very careful. Of course, if you're driving on the road, the Great Assembly stars also talk a bit about accident. So be a bit more attention, uh, pay a bit more attention to what is going to come out when you're on the road, yeah? So now, of course, we have the Hulk Spirit stars. Uh, as what the term sounds, this is actually just talking about your work environment. Uh, is that you can get a little bit of problem in terms of uh, scandals and gossip that's coming from away. But of course, all of this can be ironed out if you actually look forward to maintain very good communication with your co-workers as well as your mentors or even your bosses. Then this will really just get you by without much of a problem. Now the piercing rope stars is one of the last stars in 2017 that we look at. It just means that you are very uh, aggressively in pursuing your wealth and along the way you might just encounter some not so pleasant people that might just stand in your way. So what we're trying to say here is as long you maintain a very humble and positive stance, uh, tries to pay more attention to help people around you, this will not give you so much of a problem here. Now, of course, if you're looking for a very good year ahead, uh, all of those that I mentioned is for people that's born in the year of the red. But in Chinese astrology, we look beyond just the year of birth that you're born because you actually have, we call this the eight Chinese character. In Chinese, we call Ba Zi. Okay, so it actually takes out a four pillar of destiny we're looking at here. Now, how are you going to get this chart here? It's very simple. You just need to go to the website here, www.kevinfongcg.com slash 12 zodiac and then you have a puzzle calculator you can just punch in your date of birth and time you'll be able to check out whether you have the red that is existing in other areas that is possible now if the sign of the red is existing in the man palace this actually talks about your career as well as your business environment so what we are talking about here is this year there will be a lot of room for growth and opportunities all you have to do is just to ensure that you bring a lot of value in your work environment of course, for if you are actually are born in the red day, so what this says is because the red day actually denotes relationship as well as your spouse. But because you have the sky happiness that is existing in this year as a prosperity star, so this is a very good year for you to get attached. Of course, also for the single one out there, you can look for your prospective partners. Now, if you actually had the red that is actually on the hour pillar, which means that you are born possibly between 11 to uh, 1 a.m., now, this actually talks about your personal development as well as your personal wealth uh, investment. Now, this year, there is a lot of room to grow your personal portfolio. So, all you have to do is just to pay more attention to growing them using knowledge that is coming from your mentors. Now, of course, this year, I will just 
it'll be looking all in all you have a four out of five stars for people that's born in the year of red generally a very good year for you to tie by okay of course right here i'd like to just wish you guys a very happy prosperous and wonderful new year and the year of the fire rooster